Dead Heroes, it's always a difficult one, but there's, there's definitely a couple that spring to mind. And this is sort of going to show the geeky side of me now. One would be Jonas Salk. And everybody, huh? who's he? He's the guy who invented the polio vaccine, which was wonderful in itself. However, for me, what was really unique about it was that guy could have patented that formula and made billions of dollars, but he didn't. He gave it to the world. You've got to admire that. The other one is um, in Victorian England. There were a lot of characters about, but the engineers were the ones who sort of captured my imagination. And there's, there's Brunello who's the most famous, but the one who I think always gets overlooked was Joseph Bazalgette. And same thing, who, who's he? And if you walk down the embankment, there's a monument to him. And he's the guy who installed the sewage systems in London, which helped prevent the cholera epidemic. Those sewage systems are still there to this day. So, I mean, talk about great British engineering. You're not going to get it any better than that. Living Hero, there's one guy who I absolutely think is amazing. He's good value for money, he's funny, he's witty, but could be, potentially, a future Prime Minister. Boris Johnson, he's amazing. I mean, people think that he's a, this like bumbling fool, and he isn't. He's a very, very intelligent bloke, and he comes across bumbling because his brain is always like six words ahead of his mouth. So it doesn't always come out right, but he, he's, I think he's fantastic. And it's just sometimes when he's on public talking things, and you can hear in the background, Boris, Boris. And I think he's brilliant, and I'd love to see him as prime minister. The things that I admire in people are people who work damn hard to achieve what they want to achieve because there's no success without sacrifice. That's a lesson that I learned very, very early on. So everybody who becomes something, they have to sacrifice something out of their personal life. I mean, look at Bradley Wiggins, the training that he has to do just on a daily basis. I mean, the, the guy is cycling minimum 40 hours a week. It's absolutely unbelievably difficult, but he reaped the rewards and the first Englishman to win the Tour de France. Amazing. So that's what I admire, people who work hard for their goals.